Des here and I want to talk to you about something. I've just got back from London this weekend and my mum said, son, take this with you. Which basically means, here son, here you go, a little present. And what she gave me was planting. She gave me a little twin set of planting. Normally they come in little fingers, normal fingers, uh, but it's come as a twin set. I can't wait to get into this. We're going to slice this, dice this, fry it. You can do so many different things. It's just like a banana, but you can't eat it raw. You have to cook it. You eat this raw, you're sitting on the toilet for a couple of hours. But let's get straight into this now. Chef Des, planting on the way. Here we go, planting. First, you need a good sharp knife. It's not like a banana where if you try and bend it and try and rip it open, it doesn't work like that. So, we're going to cut off the top like that, cut off the bottom. We're then just going to do a nice slice straight down through the skin like that. And that should then help us to look at that, help to peel back the actual skin and then that's where you start to see the two bananas split so they're not actually twins they've just grown really nice and tight together and that opens that up look at that beautiful then quite easily you can if you're obviously nice and proficient with a nice you can slice it into the skin I don't recommend doing it but it's just another way of doing things and um, or you can slice it straight onto your chopping board like that so you get really good, nice, even slices, all right? Then once you've got your slices, take it to the pan and let's get frying, baby. We've got the plant in here, just nicely sliced, and then all you do is quite simply take it out and then you pull it into the frying pan and it just starts to fry. You can boil these, you can steam them, you can actually take them out and put them in to soups and use them as thickening agents but whoops just lost one on the floor there and we're going to put these in now you know there's that whole rule of five second rule well it's absolute absolute bogus anything drops on the floor guys pick it up if you're going to cook it in a frying pan like this then that's not a problem because obviously the temperature will um, kill it but don't literally pick it up pull it straight in your gob you are going to be taking some bugs and germs with you After a couple of seconds frying on one side, you then want to flip them over. So, once you flip them over, you want to get it nice and even. There you go, look at that. You can go a little bit less on the colour, but you want to make sure the heat goes through and cooks these little bad boys nice and evenly. And there's different ways you can cut them. You can cut them in long slices if you wanted to. But this is the quickest and easiest way. And just flip them over. Just like that, fried planting, easy peasy, chocolate squeezy. Okay, so once they're done, just literally take them out, put them onto a drainage plate, just like that. Right, here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now, oh, excuse me, excuse my manners again. Guys, a lot of people go, oh, I don't like bananas. This isn't a banana, it's a plantain. It's a cousin of a banana, but it tastes so much better. Why? Because it's cooked. The flavor just becomes stronger. The smell is amazing. I'm gonna get one more of these. Guys, you need to try fried plantain. Yum, yum, bubble gum. Mmm. Chef Des, 